Good morning, Vaqueros. Today is Monday, October 21st, and it is currently 88 degrees outside. We're coming to you from our Edinburgh studio. I'm Joseph Zambrano. And I am Alejandro Lopez. And this is Vaquero News. <coughs> Campus News. Events, games, and activities. All in one place. This is Vaquero Radio. The Bounce Student Station. M- Monday and Wednesday. Vaquero Radio. Where you're. Where you're. Where you're. Where you're. Where you're. Where you're. The Conjunto Club performed Thursday at the Student Union for the Union Unplugged event. Here is Celeste Cruz with the story. Playing songs such as La Flechita, Trajos Amargos, and Hay Unos Ojos, the Conjunto Club drew dozens of students Thursday to Union Unplugged on the Edinburgh campus. Kevin Ramirez, an accountancy junior and student assistant for the Student Union, said the performance was meant for students to have a good time and connect with the Hispanic culture. We want to give like a different uh, sense of environment for the students. Uh, we want the students to feel more engaged. Um, just like after COVID, not many events were happening, so we wanted to uh, spice it up with like live music or something that students would be like engaged and feel connected with their community and culture. He said the event reached his expectations. There was a lot of people. There was a lot of people enjoying too. We got some seats, and there was people standing up around. So. Yes, it was the event I expected. Everything ran out to. Jorge Ibarra, an electrical engineering sophomore and vice president of the Conjunto Club, said what audiences should expect from their group's performances. They can expect to have a good time. We have a lot of cumbias, a lot of rancheras. Um, you know, it's more focused on the audience so they can dance and have a good time. It's Ayla Luna, a business administration and entrepreneurship and innovation freshman who plays the saxophone for the Conjunto Club, was satisfied with the outcome the event had. I think it was really fun. A lot of people were dancing and um, it was just overall like a good uh, performance. For more information on upcoming events at the Student Union, visit VLink and its Instagram and Facebook accounts. To check out future performances of the Conjunto Club, visit VLink and the group's Instagram and Facebook accounts. This is Celeste Cruz for Vaquero Radio. In McLean goes up and throws down a monster dunk. That fires up the UTRGD field house. And now time for Vaquero Sports. The UTRGV women and men basketball teams have been working hard to prepare for the 2024-2025 season. Here's Victoria Gonzalez with more. The Southland Conference held a media session with the UTRGV women's and men's basketball head coaches where they spoke about their preseason progress and what they hope the season will bring. In the 2023-24 season, the women's basketball team ended with a 6-23 overall record and 5-15 in conference play. The men's basketball team finished with a 6-25 overall record and 2-18 in conference play. For 11 years, the Vaqueros previously competed in the Western Athletic Conference before joining the SLC on July 1st. Women's basketball head coach Lane Lord said the most exciting thing about joining this new conference is less time spent traveling. In years past we'd have to fly to the west coast and go through a couple time zones, play on a Thursday, then fly on Friday to the next opponent. I think being able to bust more games, playing every single game in one time zone is going to be a great benefit for our student athletes. Cahill Fennell, former Brigham Young University assistant basketball coach, was welcomed to UTRGV as the new men's basketball head coach on April 5th, after the university announced former head coach Matt Figger's departure on March 19th. Fennell said that as the new head coach, he is focused on getting the team better each day. Yeah, I think you can get lost in the sauce a little bit and lose focus on what's important as far as the day-to-day and the process of trying to get better and better and better for us. It's just important that we continue to get better and then not worry too much about big picture things that we can't control. Based on last year's performance, Lord said the biggest obstacle the team faced was turning the basketball over from the opponent and shooting in their home net. He said that during their practices, he has been making sure to emphasize offensive play. We've really spent most of the summer and the fall on taking care of the basketball. Statistics show if you can score in the 80s in women's basketball, you got a really good chance to be at the top of your conference. And that's certainly going to be our goal to try to get to the 80-point mark every game. With the season starting in about two weeks, Fennell said his athletes are, quote, working exceptionally hard, end quote. You know, obviously there's a long way to go. It's a pretty big undertaking with everything that we're trying to put in place. I'm really proud of the work that they're putting in, and I do feel like we're continuing to improve, and I'm excited about that. Redshirt sophomore forward Marshall Destremu explained the new identity the team will have based off of last year's record. 
We're a completely different team to last year. I think, you know, the new coaches and all the new players should show that. And I think our identity will just be a team that plays hard and cares about winning. We're going to win a lot more games than we did last year. The men's basketball team will play their first game against the University of Nebraska Huskers at 7 p.m. November 4th in Lincoln, Nebraska. At 7 p.m. November 5th, the women's basketball team will open the season playing against the University of Houston Cougars in Houston. This is Victoria Gonzalez for Vaquero Radio. The Vaqueros are getting ready to go up against Southeastern Louisiana University. Leonardo Guajardo has the details. With much teamwork and drive to secure a victory, the UTRGV women's soccer team has been on the field practicing to compete in their next conference game this week. The Vaqueros had a six win, four loss, and four tie overall record, and a two win, one loss, three tie score in conference play. Following UTRGV's 1-0 win against the University of the Incarnate Word Cardinals October 11, head coach Mark Foster spoke on the mentality the team needs to maintain going into the game against Southeastern Louisiana University Lions. We typically, you know, try to focus on being the best version of ourselves. That's usually how we start every conversation. We, we've been on a really good run. You know, we've only lost one conference game, um, so... We're not going to overreact to that game. Our performances this season have been really good. The best since I've been the coach. He said the Vaqueros will not change their field strategies, but will focus on what has been helping them. We're not going to change anything at this point. We're going to focus on, you know, the things that have been going well for us and, and then trying to improve and tweak a few little things here and there, but nothing major at this point. I think it's uh, too late in the season for that, you know. As coaches, we'll look at formations and we'll look at little things and think, right, well, if they do this, how will we react? He explained how the Vaqueros will adapt to playing on the field of another university. I would imagine they'll try to come out and put us on the back foot and try and make home field advantage count. We're going to have to adjust to playing on the field, different size, different surface, being on the road. Uh, all those things. Freshman forward Jordan Matthews described their mentality going into the game. I come in with just confidence and growth on my mistakes that I made and just um, keep pushing and that's I feel like where that's where I get I'm more successful in that um, on the field and off the field as well so working towards that my one main goal and that is to help uh, make an impact on the team and to help get wins. Freshman goalkeeper Camila Aguilar explained how she maintains composure during a match. I get scored on, then it's just like, okay, like, I'm going to get the next one, you know, it like, I kind of just put it behind me. I try not to, like, let it affect me because if it was to affect me, then it, I wouldn't do so good the rest of the game. The UTRGV women's soccer team will be going head-to-head -head against the SOU Lions at 6 p.m. Friday in Hammond, Louisiana. This is Leonardo Guajardo for Vaquero Radio. New drop straight back towards a crossing route. McCaffrey, touchdown. That's big time. Good morning, Vaqueros. Here's the sports schedule for this week. The women's volleyball team will play against McNeese University at 12 p.m. Thursday at home. The men's soccer team will also be playing at home at 6.30 p.m. to take on San Diego State University Thursday. On Friday, the women's soccer team will play in Hammond, Louisiana at 6 p.m. against Southeastern Louisiana University. The women's volleyball team will take on Nicole's University at 2 p.m. at home. Don't forget to bring your student ID to all UTRGB games and support our student athletes by showing up. This is Leonardo Guajardo for Vaquero Radio. And now for this week's events calendar. Hey Vaqueros, let's check out all the fun events going on this week. Starting off on Tuesday, the Center of Student Involvement will host a Get Involved Fair with the College of Science from noon to 2 p.m. In the Science Promenade, Brownsville students will get to experience Rhythm Night Tuesday from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Music, Science, and Learning Center. From Monday through Friday, Vaquero Vote and the Center of Student Involvement will hold a Vote Early on Campus event from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Student Union Room 2.24 in Brownsville. That is the event calendar for this week, Vaquero. Don't forget to bring your student ID to all UTRGV events. This is Ariana Gallardo for Vaquero Radio. And now for this week's campus weather report. 
Hey vaqueros, here's the weather forecast for this week. We start with some showers this morning with a high of 88 degrees. We're mostly cloudy going into Tuesday with a peak of 90 degrees. On Wednesday, continue with mostly cloudy skies with a high of 89 degrees. We're partly cloudy now this Thursday with a peak of 90 degrees. Friday will be generally clear with a high near of 90 degrees. Remember to dress accordingly for this weather conditions. This is Jan Trejo for Vaquero Radio. That is the newscast for this week. Remember to read our news articles every week on our website, utrgvradio.com. Tune in to Vaquero Radio through our website or download the Radio Garden app to listen wherever you are and enjoy the best DJ shows around campus. Remember to check out our YouTube channel for the latest news from UTRGV and the Valley. Our weekly newscast will also be broadcast at 11 a.m. every Wednesday. Join us next week, same time, same place. Only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. Thanks for tuning in, Bucketles. Be sure to saddle up at 11 a.m. every Monday and Wednesday for another newscast. And as always, thanks up.